Hi guys, it's Dominika. Welcome to my channel. So tomorrow I'm coming back to university and I got a lot of cute stuff to start the new semester and I decided to make a video and just show them to you and also share with you what I usually bring to school on a regular days or my study days. And also for the upcoming school year I really want to share with you more uni and school related stuff because most of my days I spent at uni and that's just what takes most of my time so it would make sense to share it with you over here because that's pretty much my life okay so the first thing is something that I just got very very recently and I'm very excited it's this cover for my MacBook and I had my laptop for two years and I never managed to get anything for it but this year I did it is so cute just look at it it's like this very cute marble pattern and I am obsessed with it. It is of eBay so any of you can just easily go and get it. The top of it over here but then also it comes you know with the back so it protects the entire thing so great. And also it matches my coffee holder, coffee thing, I don't know how to call it. This is the one that I have so it's matching pattern the blue marble thing. Um, I got it from TJ Maxx, so probably if you will go you will not get the exact same one, but for sure you can, can find similar ones. So they always have very cute coffee holders or like water bottles over there, so I definitely recommend. Yeah. And then I also got this, uh, it's a salad box, yeah salad box. I got it from Flying Tiger, so I don't know if it's available in the countries you are watching it in. It's pretty much all over Europe, I don't know if it's in the US but what I really like about it is that it has this like dressing cup holder which is really cool for me and as a person I hate taking sandwiches to school I hate when all of the ingredients ingredients smashed together and it just gets like so nasty for me um, so I usually bring salads like, I mean usually I just buy in cafeteria but that's like a waste of money so this year I really decided to bring my lunch um, at least three days out of five so I think that's like a safe thing for me so yeah what I will bring is salad and they are much better with the dressing but if you put it already inside then it gets all mushy and like you know not really that great so yeah i think this is really really cute and of course the next thing that i have is the water bottle nothing unusual but i don't think i should really invest a lot of money in it because for example from my experience every few months uh, the part over here starts to get I don't know if it's mold or something, but something nasty starts to grow over here so I, every few months I have to throw it out but of course it's better than bringing a plastic bottle so yeah, just get the cheap one from the local store I got this from the, in a local grocery store, I think from Netto so I mean no brand preference, just something that works for you so now let's move on to my backpack and what I have precisely inside of it this is the backpack that I have, it's from Sensei and I bought it a few months ago so I don't think you can get the exactly same one but I saw that I still have a very very similar ones and to me what was important in a backpack is first of all that it's in the neutral colors because you know you can get some cute like pink or purple or whatever but then sometimes it doesn't really go with your outfits so I just really preferred it something very very color neutral so yeah this is black and white and then what was important for me is that this part had to be quite big because you know textbooks they are really freaking huge as well as you know uh, laptops can be also really huge so I definitely recommend you looking for something bigger and what was the most important for me actually is that it's waterproof because I live in Denmark and it freaking rains here every single day okay not every single day but you know what i mean if you go to college in the us you drive by car pretty much all the time but here like in europe it's not really a thing in denmark most of the people go to school by bikes or like me i take a bus but i also you know often walk like around around errands after school and then just walk in the city in the rain so it was very important for me to have something waterproof so i'm happy with this one I cannot link the exact same one because it's already not selling but there's pretty much the same one also in black so I will link it for you over there so pretty much all of the planners available in the stores are these small books pretty much and they are very thick and they are very heavy and I think it's just so impractical to carry it on your back all the time so 
I'm really happy because I found this um, looks like a notebook but it's super super thin and that's exactly what I wanted because it's absolutely weightless and I don't want to carry like a freaking small book like this one is very very thin it's a weekly planner and it just looks like this uh, very very simple so yeah here you have um, you know the month and Monday from Monday to Sunday everything planned and that's honestly enough for me because I don't know how it is at different unis and different countries but in Denmark you just go to the school's website and you download the entire schedule for a semester simply on your MacBook to your calendar and I don't know how it's in other countries but here every day is the same I know that in American high school you have you know Mondays the same classes every Monday Tuesday the same classes every Tuesday but actually you know in here every day is different so if I was you know to put my schedule in a notebook that would be really really a lot of work because every day is different and I would have to put it in a book so it makes absolutely no sense so the reason why I need it is to make my readings on time because I have a huge problems of making readings um, I end up not doing most of them which is not a good thing it's never a good thing not to do those so yeah I just want to do those weekly planner to plan out my readings so I don't even need to bring it to school technically it's just for home but yeah that's like the only purpose of it so it's from Danish star called Sustenegrene so again maybe you're not able to find it in your country but still just look for something similar I think like my advice for like freshmen is just you know stick to the small weightless things because you don't want to bring them all along with you it just makes no sense so then I got this very very small notebook is thin like this and I don't know again how it is in other countries but here in Denmark everything is like digitalized everything is online so every lecture we have powerpoints presentations from it so that's all the notes that you need pretty much from the lecture and then when you have tutorials you can see the word documents already and then we just make notes in it and same if you make any notes on a lecture no one really does them in a notebook anymore everyone just open the word file or evernote or some of those programs and that's it so i don't really need it for a note taking per se because i never take much notes and previously i would buy those five subject notebooks and they are great but i would end up wasting like majority of the space and that's pointless so what I did this year is to got a very very thin one and that's pretty much only to do things that I cannot do quickly on the computer so if there's some graph that teacher is you know drawing on the board or anything like this then I will quickly do it here because it just makes more sense because it's faster but then all the rest of my notes is on my computer so that's completely enough for me then the next thing that I got is this notebook it's from MPIC I got it in Poland again I don't know where MPIC is available so I'm really sorry but I really loved the flower pattern and that's actually not uni related um, I am self-learning German which sounds crazy and I mean it's not going super well but I really want to learn German it's one of my sort of goals in general and unfortunately I cannot take English classes here in Denmark for German so I'm doing it myself from like flashcards and memorize and Duolingo and this sort of website so I decided to get my give myself like two or three hours every week where I go where I'm going to library and I am by myself learning German and writing it all down because I cannot motivate myself here so I need to schedule myself a class sort of for myself but yeah that's a notebook and it's really cute and it's just very very plain but again also I always like to buy the you know the cross notebooks not the line ones because it's just much more practical uh, this is also something that I have from the previous semester it's just as you can see just like a refill pads and um, I don't use it during a semester it's just when I am actually studying for the exams uh, and that's when I'm sitting down and I am solving the exercises and like going for stuff or if I am doing my reading those are not, not the notes that I need to take anywhere with me I don't need them at uni so I will just write you know sit down and like write, write out my sort of notes in this and then I just you know I think it's always used to have, useful to have this plain paper with you to yes you see I used it last year but yeah you need that and it's yeah 
Also, this is something that I trick myself. I'm really trying to eat healthy, I'm really trying, but when I'm at home, I would much rather just eat pasta or pizza or chips or something like that. So my trick is to bring healthy snacks for uni because when I'm sitting in the lecture, I'm always hungry. I don't know if it's the same for you, but always when I sit in the auditorium, I just get terribly hungry. That's why I bring healthy snacks because I'm hungry and I will eat them anyway. So I already got myself like a bag of almonds to snack on class. Also, I bring cashews or some chopped apples or carrots. So the things that I don't really eat by myself, like here in my room, but at uni, when you're starving, you will. So I am already getting prepared for the new semester. Also, I got this. Those are like a very small notepads. And some people, you know, do use the flash flash flashlight? Highlighter, highlighter, that's the word, highlighter, in their textbooks or pen or whatever but it's damaging the book a lot and the books are terribly expensive so I'm always you know, reselling them after the new semester and if you do any marketing site it brings the value down so that's why I just use those simple you know, stickers over here so I mark the important stuff in a textbook and then I just remove it you know, when the semester is over, over and then I also do you know, have those and it's really it's really cute. It's from Flying Tiger again. I don't know if you have it in your country, but it's just really cute because it's weightless. So I just have it in my um, backpack with me at all times. Of course, I have a pen, like, you know. But funny thing about me, I hate blue pens. I need to have a black pen, so. I also have a lip balm, like, you need yourself a lip balm for uni. Also, a security tampon like if you're a girl it may happen anytime so you must be prepared and always be secure and sometimes you know it's not me it's one of my girlfriends and you gotta help the girl out so yeah. and i also have a hand cream uh, in my backpack because you know when you sit at a lecture you sit, there, you sit there for two hours you might as well cream your hands like why not and I also have an extra scrunchie because usually I wear my hair loose but then when I sit in the class and I'm you know writing and I put my head down and my hair going on my face or so if I'm eating at school so I always have it you know for those cases and thank you so much for watching I hope this video was useful for you and you liked it and yeah and if you liked it then please give me a thumbs up and as I said I'm planning to do more uni related videos during this year so if you would like to see that then please subscribe to my channel so you will see them and as always if you're going for anything you can just email me the email is in the description below and same if you have any maybe if you're a freshman and you're feeling anxious about a school start or anything just please email me i will reply to you and for now i hope you have a very very wonderful day and i really hope i will see you again in one of my videos bye bye